Dotson did play the first series of the fourth quarter. Warren Williams' overall lack of size was exploited by the Steelers. Veterans A.J. Klein and Matt Milano both getting beat for touchdowns raises the overall concern for this linebacker core without Tremaine Edmonds. Every defensive snap for the Buffalo Bills slowed down to about 65% and specifically keying in on all the linebackers that started for the Buffalo Bills. In this first snap, you're going to see a run to Najee Harris. Tyrell Dotson takes on an offensive lineman number 65 that we're going to review in a second here. Really a run for no gain, but as soon as the ball gets snapped, Dotson reads that it's a run, uses his leverage. You'll see him on the outside there, taking on number 65, and this is what we're concerned about, right? Not being a Tremaine Edmonds. Like, how are you going to take on offensive linemen? Dotson, to me, and Klein have really done the best taking on offensive linemen against the run. And I think that's very important for 2023 to understand. This next play here, I want you to focus on Dotson. Obviously, Matt Milano, we don't need to worry about. But Dotson, you're going to see his head always on a pivot, reading the offense, eyes on the running back, on the quarterback, looking towards the outside to see if there's anyone out there, and then ultimately turns back in towards the play. See his head turn, comes back in, play goes towards the outside. Really not his problem on that play. You're going to see another run here to Najee Harris. Dotson does a great job stepping in to the play. So we're going to play this again. Watch what happens. Dotson reads that it's a run, and at the last second he sees the tackle number 76 coming at him, and he does a skip step, uses his shoulder, see him, looks right at him at the last second, steps in front of him, uses his shoulder, sees that Najee's going that way, still has a chance at Najee Harris if he broke free there. Just does a great job on that play. Here is some pass coverage ability. See Dotson dropping back. I think that's something that he's been really, really working on is his back pedal. Now, obviously it was incomplete pass, but Kenny Pickett is a known scrambling quarterback, and I think Dotson does all that he can on this play. I mean, it's hard to be critical of Dotson on this play. You're going to see Dotson looking towards the tight end, Fairmouth, right? Backpedaling, kind of gets out of the screen. But comes in, Dane Jackson lays the lumber. So this is just a really good route. Uh, Kenny Pickett manipulating that pocket, buying a lot of extra time, steps up into the pocket. Dotson was covering this seam. Dane Jackson clobbered him, though. So here we go. Dotson here. This is the long touchdown run, 62-yard touchdown run. Now, a lot of people are blaming Dotson on this play, but I hope you guys checked out my game film review. I will link it above. Tim Settle and also Puna Ford trip and fall on this play. Both their defensive tackles fell. Dotson got kind of got wrapped up by that offensive lineman, and he broke free for a long run. Really look at that game film. It was not Dotson's fault. Play happened a little bit fast, but we're going to see a little pass coverage or possibly a miscommunication between Dotson and Matt Milano. And that is something to be concerned about this upcoming season. The communication between Dotson and Milano, making sure that they are on the same page. And we're going to see actually Fairmouth score his touchdown on Matt Milano in coverage here. Now I watched it several times and it's not like Milano turned towards Dotson, kind of like pointing at him, signaling, hey, like that was your guy, like this was your mistake. You know, sometimes they do that. There's kind of the look of a lot of self-blame going on here between the three of them. And I, I think Matt Milano kind of screwed up on this play. But again, preseason, you know, how much are we really fighting out there? You're going to see another angle of it, right? Just kind of great. Great passing catch from the Steelers. Now we have A.J. Klein and Matt Milano on the football field. We're going to see a pretty decent drop back from A.J. Klein. Older player, but still does a decent job moving, right? And I think we're going to see a good play here. Kind of a delayed stunt blitz by A.J. Klein coming in. Does get blocked up, but you're going to see his arm come up into the play. Just a little bit late trying to get his arm up into Kenny Pickett's face. Uh, still not completed pass, but... Uh, would have liked liked them to get there a little bit sooner, I guess, or affect the quarterback a little bit more. This play, another pass, screen pass. Not much happening from uh, A.J. Klein there. Uh, we're going to see another play. Every defensive snap we're going through, not much happening there. We'll skip through it. A.J. Klein, see, using his extension, kind of gets bottled up by that offensive lineman. 
Um, but the play, the running back was kind of, the running back was really dancing. You're going to see kind of the running back kind of dance a little bit, delay things, bounce back the other way. The offensive lineman kind of bottles up A.J. Klein, but still tackle for really no gain. Another pass, A.J. Klein. I think he's very underrated in pass coverage, but a missed tackle there, comes in to make a tackle. Uh, I think he's fluid in his back pedal. He's good at reading offenses, but you're going to see A.J. Klein come in here and just miss the tackle. You know, and that's on, uh, I think that's their third string running back right there. Change of quarter here, and A.J. Klein comes in, makes a solid tackle, fighting to bring him down, does a good job reading things. Another play. Goes to the other side of the field. A.J. Klein reading a lot of motion, a lot of eye candy for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Good play by the Bills. Go A.J. Klein dropping back into coverage. And I really think Dotson is still a little bit faster in his backpedal than Klein. Not much happening there from our linebackers. I just want to show every single defensive snap for the Bills. See A.J. Klein kind of coming in. Dorian Williams makes his first appearance versus the Pittsburgh Steelers with Tyrell Dotson out there. We're going to key in on both of them, but uh, ultimately not a big gain. Decent job by this defensive line, but what I want you to notice is the offensive lineman on Dorian Williams, and Dorian Williams got beat up this game by offensive linemen. You're going to see him fighting that offensive lineman. You know, just they're a little bit after after the whistle to the Steelers. They're playing awfully dirty for a freaking preseason game. But this one, they were interviewing a player, and that's why the screen is a little bit blurry. The screen was awfully small. But Dorian Williams, Tyrell Dotson in pass coverage. We're going to take a look here. Notice on this play is how fast Dotson and Dorian Williams react to the pass. Obviously, they're in shotgun. It's likely a pass, and it's third and three. So the ball gets snapped. You're going to see Dotson just run straight out to the perimeter there, doing a great job. Both of their eyes are not on the quarterback. So I think Dorian Williams does a good job covering that crossing route. Um, ball could be going there, but he Kenny Pickett throws to the slant. Kyir Elam really got beat on this play. A big part of this is play recognition. Whether it's going to be a run or it's going to be a pass, Dotson reads this flawlessly. You know, really committed to the run, speeds in past that offensive lineman that was trying to get to the that level, the linebacker level. Dotson uses his speed to get in there, doesn't make a tackle, but really forces the running back towards the outside. Steelers call the same play in a row, and you're going to see Dotson a little bit more hesitant, but bursts through that same hole and actually makes a tackle this time. So let's just watch this one again. I think Dotson does such a great job on this play. You're going to see at the very beginning, Dotson reads that could be a run this time, but no, he's like, wait, maybe it's play action. You see the little, little bit of hesitancy. Then he reads it. He's like, no, that's a run. And he knives in there nice and fast and makes a tackle. I mean, that is a great, great job. You're going to see 53. Also, Dorian Williams getting beat up here at the top of the screen. This is something the Bills are a little bit concerned about. Just notice Dorian Williams at the top of the screen getting pushed by that offensive lineman. Does a good job, though. Doesn't fall down. Here's a delayed blitz by Dorian Williams coming in there, shedding the block from the running back, who's a very physical style running back, getting his arms up in the air, and it's incomplete. This is what we're talking about, affecting the quarterback, right? Arms are up in the air before the ball is passed in. A little bit better job on A.J. Klein, right? And affected Kenny Pickett. Affected the pass. Here's another blitz, a little bit of confusion and stunting going on. Dotson ultimately scrambles him towards the outside. Now, if we had a faster defensive end than Shaq Lawson, that could have been a sack, you know, but Dotson does a good job chasing him down. It's a pass by Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett throws, and it is caught. And there's Dotson again, just getting right in between these these two players. We're going to Really, Siren Neal's man, Dotson, is there to try and clean things up. Hits him, but still completed. Some more confusion and blitzing going on by the Buffalo Bills. Shaq Lawson chasing them down. Now the Bills have Dorian Williams and A.J. Klein out there for this goal line situation. We're going to see A.J. Klein get called for pass interference here. And really, he should have turned around towards the ball, right? I think that's kind of the common day NFL when he first came to the league. This was not a penalty, but nowadays you have to turn around towards the football. So I think A.J. Klein 
just needs to be uh, brushed up on that again, I guess. Here is a great stop by the Bills, and Boogie Basham does a great job. The entire defensive line does a great job, but we're going to play this again really quick just to show you. Dorian Williams, A.J. Klein. Dorian Williams, bam, shock factor, right? A.J. Klein trying to take on offensive linemen too. Here's another play too. Fake the handoff. Dorian Williams comes in for the tackle on the running back, but it's a pass. Good break up there. Third and goal. Good rush. A.J. Klein does a great job reading the crossing route from that wide receiver. Not within five yards. You can knock that dude to the ground. Dorian Williams just kind of standing there. Didn't really do much on this play. Uh, eyes on the quarterback. Really responsible for the running back. Kyrie Elam gets called for pass interference, and they get a fresh set of downs. Here's another run. You're going to see Dorian Williams not really do much here. Uh, he kind of jumped up in the air and just got thrown back. So as a linebacker, you know, you got to stay on your feet. <laughs> Unless you're diving over the pile, I think, to make a play. But Dorian Williams leaves his feet and gets carried back into the play. Bills do ultimately stop him. But really uh, coming in off that edge, Buffalo Bills defensive line, unreal stuff. Dorian Williams and A.J. Klein again, taking on that offensive lineman. Taylor Rapp comes in, makes the stop. There's Dorian Williams getting slammed to the ground again. I think this is ultimately what we were worried about. So focusing on Dorian Williams, kind of gets thrown, bounced out towards the outside. Offensive lineman has him, and number 42, bam, slammed to the ground. This play, A.J. Klein gets burnt for the touchdown. Really moved a little bit too slow. Just a great pass and catch again. This is the different angle of it. But, you know, we want more from our linebacker. We want a linebacker on the Buffalo Bills that's going to read this and make that play. You know, I, I guess that's just no, that's standard. This is just standard linebacker stuff, you know. We need next level linebacker. Dotson and Williams are out there here. And we're going to take a look at both of them again. So Dorian Williams pointing towards the outside. Look at the speed. Covered up. Another play. Dotson using his length, his reach. Running back almost got through, but Dorian Williams did just enough. Right? You could really see how this play is developing. Dorian Williams gets beyond the offensive lineman who's kind of blocking him in the back. And come in and clean that up. You're going to see Dotson come in, use their speed, get in front of that offensive lineman. You know, Tremaine Edmonds, he could use his length. He could use his arm reach and his length to separate and block shed. These offense, these linebackers for the Bills, they need to use their speed, right? They need to get under these offensive linemen. And you can't block them in the back. So I think they're doing a good job. That little rip move that they got going on, I think it, it fits their game pretty well. This play, we're going to see Sierra Neal almost pick it off. Dorian Williams, you're going to see him be like, oh my God, should have been picked. Some more pass coverage, and I love how deep they are. Two coverage linebackers. I know Dotson doesn't get known to be a coverage linebacker, but he is better in pass coverage than Tremaine Edmonds. So they read the play action, drop back into coverage. Hit the flat, Sierra Neal comes in, miss tackle, A.J. Klein comes in, cleans things up. High snap to start this play. A.J. Klein is back on the field here with Dorian Williams. Doing a decent job, A.J. Klein dropping back. Fit the ball right in there. We're going to watch this one again. As this play develops, it's, it's almost like he is staring down this guy, like, Dorian Williams, right now, his eyes are right at that tight end, Dar Darnell Washington, right? Like, he should be running towards Darnell Washington right now. Mason Rudolph is looking him right down, right? It's just a little bit slow, a little bit hesitant, right? And this is what we want to get over as, as a rookie. It's just a little bit slow. Like, he could have been there faster. Could have been there faster. And with time, he will. He will get there. Rudolph escapes. A.J. Klein taking on offensive lineman there. Doing a decent job. Dorian Williams. Misdirection play. Really focusing on these linebackers. Dorian Williams coming in there. Rudolph got sacked. 
Now we're back to Dotson and Williams on this play. Dotson taking on that offensive lineman. Dotson using his his arm length there, a little bit of a rip, comes in and actually knocks knocks him to the ground. Let's take a look at Dotson on this play, right? Reading, reading, sees that it's a run, right? Bounces towards the outside, takes on an offensive lineman, 300-pound offensive lineman, uses a little rip move, right? Comes in and just pops him in the shoulder with his helmet and knocks him to the ground. I mean, that's a great job. The Bills end up getting lucky here, getting a fumble recovery. After that fumble recovery, Dotson was pulled out of the game, and then we had Dorian Williams, Balen Spector play for the rest of the fourth quarter. And we're just going to keep an eye on Balen Spector, Dorian Williams. Keep in mind this is a third-string defensive line. Dorian Williams actually does a decent job making the tackle here. Comes in, hits that offensive lineman, sheds the block, reads the run, comes in, makes a tackle, but it is a nine-yard game. Balen Spector coming in, taking on that offensive lineman, reading things. Didn't get the first down. Dorian Williams, Balen Spector. Look at them just knife in there as linebackers, right? Come in, boom, shock factor. You know, they still pick up the first down, but still did a decent job. Dorian Williams reading the play. Balen Spector doing good, right? I mean, take it on that offensive lineman. Balen Spector is, definitely has the size. Definitely looks like A.J. Klein out there, to be honest. So, and... I want you to notice on this play, this didn't get called, but this is clearly, clearly a pick play by the Steelers. So you're going to see the tight end come out for the Steelers and, like, block Dorian Williams. Dorian Williams is being blocked right now and Balen Spector, right? That is a typical pick play, right? That is just a legal NFL pick play. Balen Spector and Dorian Williams communicating, bottling things up there. I mean, doing a decent job. And I'm really shocked Balen Spector did not get an opportunity to start at middle linebacker during the preseason with the ones. You know, I'm really shocked, especially after hearing McDermott even say, like, sometimes players practice better than how they play. And we sometimes it's opposite. Maybe they play better than they practice, too. So Balen Spector, I'm, I'm really surprised he didn't get his opportunity. I think he did a great job here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have a very physical offensive line, even depth piece Third-string offensive linemen are very, very physical. Uh, Trayvon Howard is in there. Too. Game film study review. I just really figured that no linebacker has done enough to win the job, and no linebacker has done enough to lose the job either. It's about overall impact, having an impact to this defense, and we really haven't seen a linebacker take this opportunity by storm. Terrell Bernard is the guy that's sitting in the background, but we don't know what he's going to bring on the field during game days. So this is a big time hurdle for the Buffalo Bills. Hopefully he gets to get some snaps in this final preseason game so we can make a final evaluation. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. I put a lot of time and effort with editing and game film study review. If you did, hit like, subscribe. That is how you're going to support my channel. Also, check the links down in the description. Buffalo Fan Shop has free shipping until the start of the season. All sorts of different merchandise. Buffalo Bills, also Buffalo Sabres merchandise. So check that out. I appreciate every single one of you, and go Bills.